Hey everybody and welcome. Uh, I'm gonna be going over a process, um, my process for editing photos. So let's just dive right in. This is a shot that I shot recently, yesterday afternoon. Uh, let's see if I can find the, okay, so here, that was the import and that's what I pulled out of Lightroom. It's a little bit more blue. If we go back to the import again, you can see it's just, you know, super wide. I wanted to get this long aspect ratio here give it kind of more of a banner feel and um, yeah this is a, a guy his name is Terrence um, he, and he was modeling for us today he did a good job and um, so <clears throat> you can see this is uh, what I did I just basically cropped it I messed with some highlights and, and just the tones and um, yeah and so then I rendered it using Lightroom you can do that by right clicking and edit in and then bring it into Adobe Photoshop CS6, which is where the magic happens. So, this is the Photoshop file that it will create. You gotta name it though when you save it um, to whatever it is that you want and where. And this is the final product. Um, this is what we're gonna go for. This is not something I necessarily had in mind. It was just kind of a process like, mm, what do I think it needs? And then I kind of just added it and I, you know, so um, it, it's kind of in the order that. Um, you see the layers in, so that's that's the kind of order I added stuff in. Um, so I just get, and I added stuff on top. First, I took out some of the uh, paint paintballs. I didn't like it. Um, we were at a paintball field. Um, then I added uh, some radial radial blur, uh, which I had to make sure was around my light source because otherwise it just kind of looks dumb if it's off. And then. Let's see, I don't know what, what's going on here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I wanted to change the highlights, specifically the ones that were blown out and lost information, to yellow. So I selected them and I color, used this uh, hue saturation to color correct them to yellow. And then, um, let's see. Uh, this is uh, just like a, like a, if we solo this, you can see it's just, um, it's just a circle. Of, of yellow-ish that I lowered the saturation down on and um, not saturation, opacity opacity down on, just added that in there give a little warmer feel again we're just adding in like you can see here what I do is I add it in where I want so I can see where it is and then I, and then I crank down the opacity to make it more subtle right um, just just to give it that warm feeling look of like spill light and stuff like that and um, let's see and we add some of the jacket and then um, we, we did a little bit of color balancing to specifically the whole the whole thing this is the color balancing the whole whole uh, image I did that kind of last and then I added a lens flare of course it wouldn't be an image banner if you didn't have lens flare uh, what kind of photographer would I be? And for the lens flare, um, there's this base lens flare. I just did the, the, the base one. Um, right, so that's that's what it really looks like. And then you add that in with the, with the color correction. Uh, I think I took out some, some of the green spots um, that I thought were a little bit too much. Um, just making it more subtle. Subtle is key, I think. Um, that's, that's a big part of it. Um, Let's see. Let us let's see what else we got. And then, of course, the logo. Um, and the logo, for some reason, I cannot see right now. There it is. Um, yeah. And so that doesn't look right. So I must have turned off something. Turned on something that I didn't mean to. Uh, yeah. This one I'm gonna ditch. And I'm gonna leave that one in there. This one's too much. This one I didn't like. And so because of the way you rasterize and use the sun flare, like oh, maybe I do want to use it. No. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright, and so there there it is. There's the final final uh, image. Um it looks looks pretty good. Oh, and I don't know. Here, here's some dirt that we added. We added some dirt in the air. Um, so if you zoom in real close, it just kind of gives it a more of a, <clears throat> a grungy feel. Um, I added two layers of dirt. 
one that's in focus and the one that's slightly out of focus blurred um, to give it depth and <clears throat> sorry my voice um, and uh, so I also skipped over the part where we added dirt on his jacket and that's gonna be under here now that's spill forest all this spill forest um, let's take away layers until I can find the jacket dirt All right, here's here's the dirt. I didn't didn't name that. Dirt on jacket. So yeah, as you can see, we added some dirt on his jacket, on his clothes. He he's kind of a cleaner guy, so we had to dirty him up a bit. But that concludes um, the whole process for this for this shot. And so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helps you guys out with your with your editing styles and um ideas helps you know kind of gives you ideas but uh, that's it thanks so much for watching